guys, Mag is here, and uh, I know it's been about a month or so since I made a video, but I've just been incredibly busy and have not had a chance to do a video. That's the simple truth. But now summer breaks here, and I'm going to do plenty more videos like I was back in December. And we're going to start this off with a bang. We're going to talk about comic book movies, and I got a guest here, my good friend. Whitey. Yes, up here. Whitey the Reviewer, and we're going to be talking about comic book movies. We'll talk about our thoughts on the Avengers, and then we're going to talk about the next two films and even stuff coming out next year, like the Superman film and stuff. Yes. So, the Avengers. How Amazing. about that Avengers film? It was just, if, if you want to say, it was it was fairly amazing. Fairly amazing. Fairly amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh... I've been a huge fan of most of those characters for a long time, reading their comics, and seeing them slowly come on screen was amazing, but nothing like seeing them all on screen at once. And it, just everything I could have wanted in an Avengers movie is in that movie. Oh, it's a fantastic film. I think one of the things they did wisely was, um, what you know what could have killed this film? Mm. Is if they went sort of an X-Men route, where... They explained all the origins in the scene, in the film. Instead, you know, they each character had their film. Yes, and, exactly. And explained all the backstories, and you don't need to worry about all that. Yeah, it's like, you didn't see the last movies? Well, it's kind of too bad, but we'll give you like a little indication of what each one does in the beginning. But we're not going to really go over the things. you got to go watch those movies for themselves already. Right, right. And it, it, that's the when he comes into the, the movie later on. And then later on, they have that kind of fight scene between the three of them, and then they're all just, you know, in the crater, and they're lying there, and it's kind of like the homage to Marvel's Big Three. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, that was I, awesome. I like that scene, and then, well, I took my son to see it, and he liked when Hulk punched Thor. Oh, that was hysterical. And then, um, and then there's another scene where, um, Hulk, um, not, where Hulk beats the shit out of Loki. Loki. Yeah, definitely probably the most infamous scene on in the movie and it seems to be everybody's favorite. It's definitely one of the funniest moments for me. But um but yeah, just all the action scenes were just they were over the top awesome. You know, and you, you, they give credit, you know, like you see Iron Man shooting shit down, you see Thor electrocuting people and Hulk smashing. Uh but you definitely get for the more realistic characters, you know, Captain America's jumping over cars and buses looking like a badass and you got Hawkeye just shooting shit without even looking. And even Black Widow had some really awesome parts. So, you know, I think that he definitely gave credit to all of them, even super powerful or not. And that was really cool to see on screen. He did it. He did it. My main thing with Amazing Spider-Man is I feel like this is a really good idea. You know, people are... People, I understand from, like, I guess a movie point of view, oh, it's a reboot. I guess movie point of view, it's annoying to see a lot of series get rebooted. But as a comic fan who... I mean, I'm sure you feel the same every like 20 issues we get new writers so every 20 issues the character feels totally different it may feel similar but just the way he talks and acts is going to be different and spider-man don't get me wrong sam remy did his thing i didn't like spider-man 1 all that much but i respected it spider-man 2 i enjoyed quite a lot and spider-man 3 was absolutely fucking awful i've seen it twice in my entire life the second time i only saw it because i was forced to and it was just Oh, it pissed me off. And now this Spider-Man's coming out. The director's awesome. You know, he, he may not have done action films, but character-wise, character development, he's excellent at. Um, you know, I forgot the main actor's name, Andrew. Um, he he loves Spider-Man. The dude literally came out on Comic-Con and said that as his favorite hero ever, he started crying on stage that he's proud to be next Spider-Man. So for that alone, I think you have somebody like that who really loves the character, and then you got someone like Tobey Maguire who said he never read a Spider-Man comic in his life. You know, there's a big difference when you feel the character and you love them. And um, I just think the action scenes, the newest trailer, just proves. Like, anybody who says those action scenes don't look phenomenal, they, that's what Spider-Man's supposed to look like when he's fighting. Not that shit in Spider-Man 3 or whatever whatever he was doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing about the new one the, from the trailers that I've seen is it has a more kind of a grittier look. Well, the the thing with the the problem with the Sam Raimi was was I and I, I people are gonna hate me I I I like them to an extent, mm -hmm. but I'm critical of all of them. And it was like they had this identity crisis, like they didn't know what it wanted to be. Yeah, exactly. Like, like he's like, oh, I'm, like uh -huh. yeah, I'm even critical of two. Like a lot of people, like two's one of the greatest superhero movies. Of oh, all I don't time. agree. And I, I agree with you because 
like there were scenes in like the like the scene where Doctor Octopus where he tried to make you know when the when the uh, tentacles get connected to yeah. him. And they, you know, they start killing everybody and stuff like a horror movie. I'm like, is that really necessary? That, like, detracted from what... Yeah, because it was mostly the film's lighthearted. And you, you have in that scene... Now, don't get me wrong, Spider-Man 2 has, like, some amazing scenes. That train scene, just the whole fight was awesome. And, you know, the building... Uh, all, the, all the fight scenes were really good in Spider-Man 2. The, the other thing is... Uh, you got you got like an all star cast in this movie, so I'm trying to understand what the fuck anybody can actually look down on. I think it looks good. It may not be as good as Dark Knight, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty badass. Yeah, that's going to be a tricky one. You know, um, you, I'm going to have to go in this not expecting it to be. Yeah, the Dark Knights. The Dark Knights. I, I don't know. That film's just amazing. Yeah, and it's just so well crafted and entertaining. Like I've literally seen that shit like 20 times. And it's just such a a good, just a well made film. It's 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 basically one of the best comic book superhero movies, in my opinion, next to. Uh... I I'm I haven't seen anything. Um, I I think um, you know they it has a pretty good cast. You know, Kevin <laughs> Costner is his dad. You know, um, you know what's his fucking face? Um, I. I can't believe I forgot this motherfucker's name. Um, the dude from Gladiator. The main actor? Uh, yeah. Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Yeah, he plays jor Superman's biological father. Oh, that's awesome. Now, when does uh, this take place? Is this going to be anything of the old Supermans, or is it its own thing? It's its own thing. In fact, Lex Luthor's not even in the film. Very cool. Because, damn, that dude's been in too many. <laughs> yeah, they don't use any other Superman villains. Yeah, and that yeah, and it's 